from a distance, Westside is callous and unforgiving, an iron hell for self-loathing sadists. Its legacy is steeped in blood and broken relationships. For every memory and moment of glory, there has been a profound cost. There is nothing easy about this gym. You're not gonna come in there and take from that place and not give anything. We busted our ass and gave up 15 years, some of them 20 years, you know, some of them 20% of their life. My son was a state champion swimmer. I never saw none of his swim moves. They were on Wednesday night. And Wednesday night was bench press night, so I was here. And for all their troubles, there is no applause from Louis, only the next task. In all the years I was there, I was told, good job one fucking time and it was on a floor press and I beat my record by five pounds and did 520. All right, that's how detailed I can remember it. No matter how good you guys are, they're good. They're not good enough for me. They're just not, I'm sorry. I was never good enough for me. So if you're seeking approval from Louis Simmons, you're gonna be highly disappointed since it's not there. Louis has created this environment where his guys will literally die for him. You wouldn't think this guy, who's this like ringleader of these badasses, would be able to get such admiration, but he's honestly done it with love. Louis's affection for his athletes may go unnoticed to the outside world, but in truth, it's always been his secret to success. I think that that's why the gym is so successful, because there's so much invested. I mean, you gotta realize, I actually care. When he's in the gym, he's hardcore, but when you pull him to the side and say, I need help, he's gonna help. Louis would have done anything in the world for me, and I know this. There's stories where Louis has picked people up, bailed people out of jail, paid for attorneys. Louis's always been a really good guy to me. The first worst injury I had when I, I blew the fuck out of my knee. I had a sponsor back then, sponsored in contact me for seven weeks. By the time I got home, Louis already had sleds, chains, bands. Fuck at my house with a call. You, you need anything, call me. Whew. That's why I always support Louis Simmons. Because that's the side that people don't see. Uh, it's hard because my father just passed. But if I had a second father, it would be Louis. But he probably taught me more about being a man than my dad. As far as powerlifting goes, there's, I, don't, I don't think there's anybody gave up as much as Louis has. Louis's whole life is that gym. All my memories and all my friends are in that gym. Every one of the guys in my gym is a brick that went into the wall for a side. I had the ideas, but they had to prove my ideas. They're always going to be a part of me till the day I die. There's a tattoo on my arm right here. This is born 10, 12, 47, died, never. And in my lifetime, it'll be true. The future of Westside may not be clear, but its effect on the world of strength and athletics will be felt for a long time to come. Westside Barbell and Louis Simmons changed power of thing. And whether you liked it or not, it happened. I don't think there'll ever be another Westside Barbell. I am Westside. Before Westside Barbell, there was never a Westside. And after Westside, there'll never be a Westside.